In this video, I will explain what is motion steady option in SOLIDWORKS assembling. See motion steady means you can see translatory motion or a rotary motion for a assembled parts, for assembled parts which we constrain the parts to that parts we can see motion in SOLIDWORKS assembly workbench. For that we need to take a two parts see to call a part in assembly select this option insert component go to browse i select one part See, when you call a part, the first component in the assembly workbench, that will be fixed. Means all degrees of freedom have been arrested. No need to apply fix or uh, any other constraint to this, uh, the base part. And this uh, rectangular block is of, uh, see, I go to sketch. edit component let me check save we have to save this before we we enter into that part see we see what is the length and width of this part i go to sketch edit sketch length is 200 and width is 100 okay fine and here there is a cut here now we see the depth of that cut cut extrude edit feature see this is 150 mm depth is there then we need to get back into assembly just select this option so that we get back into assembly so this depth is 150 mm then i i call another part by going into insert component browse part 2 place there and apply mate for this parts see to go to mate we have to select we can select either this mate option or directly select on that shaft then here we can see mate select concentric now i select concentric i select this surface then the center both the center will coincide then i go for ok now go for ok then again i go for a mate I select coincidence now coincident I select this surface and I select this surface then the head contacts to that surface now I select this distance and I make this 0 mm then it has a contact with that surface then there should be some movement if you apply motion if you want to apply motion steady then i give some minimum and maximum moments for this go to advanced mate in this see here max maximum and minimum so minimum let it be zero maximum it should come out as this depth is as the as the length of the shaft is 150 mm so i give 150 then i go for okay see 0 to 150 it has a moment 0 to 150 i go for okay now when you hold this pin and when you drag see up to 150 it has deviation see it can move up to 150 0 to 150 0 to 150 see 
I am moving this moment then if you go to motion study we can see that uh, translatory motion in this uh, motion study then now I go to motion study now open this uh, set that time see it should take around uh, say 0 second drag this uh, 2 second 4 second 6 second 8 second it should take 10 seconds uh, 10 seconds uh, for the movement from 0 to 150 then just minimize this now now what we need to do is uh, see here we have three options a uh, playback mode playback mode loop playback mode reciprocate reciprocate we see all these three options before that we need to apply reciprocator reciprocatory motion or translatory motion see go to motor select that motor then here select linear motor then select on this surface then it shows direction you can reverse this but we can't we can't sh we can't keep this direction it can't it can't move inside it can move outside then constant speed open this select distance and distance here it is 100 mm then it only moves up to 100 mm but it can freely move up to 150 that we gave in that constraint distant constraint see I give 150 distance see 10 seconds we said 10 seconds that is the duration time then go for ok now see now when I play see when I play you can see this shaft is moving up to 150 mm see play from start see again it plays 0 to 150 mm then I keep this second option playback loop if I select see here now I I kept playback mode loop option then we see from start see so loop then again it it goes back and it starts so this is second option loop then I keep this third option playback mode reciprocates means uh, to and fro it reciprocates uh, see I keep this uh, third option then see it revert back like this to increase the speed to increase speed see I, I stop this uh, I go to I, I go to this option here you can see you can, we can increase the speed see I keep 5x now and I play so this is a a linear motion study so in the next video we see a rotary motion study then we end this video now and uh, if you want more this type of videos uh, share and subscribe imperial cat system